Tom Reuter here with Spray Foam Engineers. Going to do a quick rundown of everything that's in this uh, home screen menu on the Graco E20 Reactor 3 uh, Pro model, but I think this is the same for whether or not you have the standard Pro or Elite. So uh, right now we're on the home screen and we can turn on our heaters or our pumps or adjust our uh, volume inside the drums and we see our uh, cycle counter here. But then we click on the home screen and we can go down to diagnostics. And then this is a cool screen because you don't have to use a multimeter to diagnose things if you're looking for like voltages and averages. Uh, you, can, you can get some basic information right from in here. We've got our voltages, uh, current, uh, temperatures here. So, uh, and then information about the flow meter if you have a flow meter installed. Uh, you can upgrade to that with the Elite version and or you can, you can add that uh, later on if you want. So this is a pro model and it doesn't have that automatically. Um, then we click on our our heaters, or our little flames there, and it's showing us our, our temperatures, our loads, and uh, duty cycle, and the temperature of the, temp the temperature control module. So we click on pressure over on this side, and then uh, we can see our uh, our outlet pressures and our uh, motor temperature, uh, motor control module temperature, and then um, whether or not our ISO our, our loop pump is uh, drawing current, so your diagnostic information about the uh, the loop now, which you know used to not have not be a, a, a motorized. So uh, so that's in our diagnostic screen. We go over to logs, and we've got an error log, date and times of the errors, you know events, just with the, all the usage of the machine, number of gallons and stuff being used. So we go back out of here. We'll go to our setup, and then we've got a uh, setup for the pressure heat system and then supply system. For pressure and flow, we've got our uh, pressure and balance alarms that we can set. We can turn these on or off and then change the settings here. Um, and then uh, we've got our K factor for our flow meter. Let's see, the heat. We've got our uh, hose set up here for resistance mode. If we were using a different kind of hose with the machine, like with the FTS, uh, then we could just adjust this setting right in here in this menu. So uh, that's kind of neat. Um, let's see, uh, our hose calibration factor. Um, let's see, we'll go over to the system, and uh, we've got an E20. Um, this is interesting, you can enable custom pump sizes. Uh, so go to our supply system. Uh, so right now we're using T3 pumps, the air-driven pumps, uh, because this is the pro model, and, uh, and that's what we chose to use for these, and we really like those pumps. But uh, you, if you were using electric pumps, you can just uh, check, change that right here in this menu. That's kind of neat. And uh, let's see, so and that's so that looks like that's all of our setup. And then we've got advanced here, and then we've got our cellular um, and our display password protected if you want, software version. So uh, it's kind of neat, a lot of detailed stuff that you can access there in that uh, the different menus, and it's uh, pretty user friendly the way that it's accessible now, kind of like a Windows or a Mac computer from this one little menu in the corner. You know, unlike the Reactor 2 where it was a little bit funky going back and forth across the screen if, if you're familiar with that. So, But uh, anyway, so that's just a quick rundown of this Reactor 3 new uh, cool touchscreen menu with the uh, with the um, menu. Thanks for watching.